Okay. I am back, hopefully, with uh, full sound this time. Sorry about that. A little bit of technical difficulties there. Okay, so we got our wheel here, and what I was going to show you is a pretty neat trick that you can do to kind of enhance enhance your work here. Uh, go ahead and add a curve circle and then move it over towards the tire here. Scale it up. Uh, R Y92 rotate it You just want to scale it to this area here. Okay, and then go and add a. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's let's go ahead and call this. Uh, I don't know. Rim circle. And let's add another circle and just bring this one over here to where you can get to it and also see your rim circle now select your rim circle come over to your curve properties make sure you have the rim circle and go down to bevel object and note the name of this circle it's called Bezier circle Go back to your rim circle, and under bevel object, you could type be, uh, Bezier, Bezier circle, but if you just click this, it'll have your circles in here, so just choose that, and look what happens. So go over to your circle here, and just S to scale it. And keep uh, scaling it down. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now you have a uh, kind of a rim hub here that is being controlled by this little circle here. Now, you don't want this little circle to hang around out there. I mean, you could leave it as a uh, Bezier curved circle and have it that way, but then you'll have this thing kind of stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. So what you can do, I'll just show you, if you tab into this, this is what it looks like. It's a, it's really just a endless curve making a circle. So you could leave it that way, but you're stuck with that other little circle. So what you can do is select it and go to Object, Convert, and it's Mesh from Curve. I don't like the way they worded this, but this is the way they have it. So Mesh from Curve. So now when you do that and you tab into it, and you A select all of it, you can see that it's just really a lot of um, normal geometry, normal, normal polygon type geometry. So now if we go back to the outliner and find our other little circle, because it's so small we can't even see it, you can delete it and it won't affect your converted circle at all. The other thing that you can do is you can take this and Shift D to duplicate it, of course. Scale it down. And we're just making kind of another little rim edge here to give it kind of a nice nice detail so pretty cool huh okay so now let's uh, see if we can complete this tire in some way 
Um, let's select the tire, tab into it, into edit mode. Uh, go into edge mode, edge mode. Okay, we got our Oops. My mouse wasn't moving there for some reason. Okay. We got our edge selected, so we're just going to do another E extrude. And this time I'm going to come out with it like this. And about right there. Let's go ahead and scale it a little bit there. E extrude again. Scale it down. E extrude again, scale it down, go something like like that. Let's do something a little bit fancy here. E extrude, and I'm going to go back in. E extrude, scale. E extrude, back up to give it kind of a little bit more detail there. E extrude. And I'm just extruding ad nauseum. Okay, so now we have the opportunity close it this what was essentially used to be a cap in just make sure you all you, ha you have all your vertices selected here and you can do your alt M merge at center and that completes that part now you can't have a tire without having some lug nuts so check this out I need to go ahead and save all this great work If you go into File User Preferences and go into Add-ons, and look in into the different add-ons you can put in in here, there is a bolt factory that you can add in. And I think I've already added it in, although it doesn't look like it's added in. Let me check. Add mesh. I got the Taurus monkey. I got the monkey. Don't need the monkey. Huh, I don't see it there. That's okay. I'll show you how to add it. User preferences. Bolt factory. And this screen is kind of confusing because when you look at it, you say, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this in, and then I gotta install it." But you don't have to install it; you just have to do the check mark. The install add-on is actually to install different uh, add-ons that these are. But if it's already here, then you just need to click the check mark and just close out of there. And then when you do add mesh you have a bolt and you have a huge error and probably because I had this selected so I'm just going to tab out of this whole thing add mesh bolt there we go I think that was the reason had some geometry se selected there and I shouldn't have Okay, I'm going to scale it up, and indeed, it is a bolt, but here's a little trick that you can do. Let's go into side view. And tab into edit mode, control up arrow to get in here, and I'm going to get in real close here, and I'm going to B select all of that geometry that I don't need. Delete it. 
and actually there's still a bunch of geometry there that I can get rid of but let's not be too anal about it right now you can uh, be more exact if you want to and let's go into while well we are in uh, vertex mode actually they, they are bugging me <laughs> get rid of all these vertices yeah oh well I know I'm missing some but that's okay okay so select all the bottom area and just pull that down now you kinda have sort of a look nut so tap out of that G to move it over to where you need it to be we're gonna rotate around the x-axis 90 degrees oh. no. no we're not we're gonna rotate around the y-axis 90 degrees and move it into place we can find it in 3D space. And yeah, it's huge. But it, that's the kind of truck this is. No, I'm not going to leave it that big. But, nice to leave it big enough to see it. Okay, now we could use the spin tool to spin these around here, but for just this amount, it doesn't make any sense. I am going to use that tool later and show you how to do that for something different. And that will be the gun. I'm going to do a Shift D to duplicate. And let's see if we can get away with six lug nuts. proper view here so I can see if they're matching up correctly. Yeah, I probably should have spun them just so they're... Don't want to do that. enough pretty cool okay now I'll go to the the other side of the tire here. Go into edit mode. Alt select this edge. Extrude. Actually, it's about right here. it again, scale, extrude again, and we 
just want to get half of this. So I'm making it right on the blue line here because we're going to mirror this tire. Save ourselves a bunch of grief. Okay, let's select this edge right here. Pull it back a little bit. Same with this one. Get our gearbox there. Something like that. Not very detailed at all, but just something in, to get get that piece in there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and give these some quick materials. Probably should have done this before I uh, duplicated them, but that's okay. So we're going to do a new one. This one's going to be silver, so it's something like that. You can give it some specularity. And it's chrome, so you may even want to give it a little bit of, of mirroring, reflectivity. It's way too much, but you can you can uh, test all that in rendering, see how you want to do that. And um, I don't know, I'll just call this chrome. It's not, but I'll call it chrome. It's what I'm planning on making it, or at least close to it. Okay, same here. Chrome. Oops. Okay. Actually, I shift, shift select these. It should be okay. All right. So you can kind of tell they're a little bit different color there. This one didn't make it. Okay. This rim, I don't know. Let's make it white for now. No. Let's make it gray. Oops. I need two of them. Any of this stuff, of course, you can change later. Okay. Now, go into face faces. Yes, I do want to make this one white. trick. If you have something in your object selected and you want to select everything else but what you have selected, I think it's Control i Yeah, there we go. Very nice trick when you're doing different uh, types of uh, selection. This I'm going to make 
Actually, I don't need a new material. Oops. No, won't do it while I'm in edit mode, no problem. I'll just change it right here, black, and assign. And that's how tires are made. Okay, and of course, if you like, you can make a nice, uh, really cool rim. I'll probably actually uh, make this a little bit better myself. But now, of course, you can go to your modifiers, add modifier, mirror modifier, and nothing happens. Okay, we need to modif uh, mirror in the Z because that's how it worked out. Oh, that was not good. Let's see if I can select everything there that I need. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not going to select it because I'm in edit mode. Hmm. I just have to move that stuff because I can't select both of them and change where the modifier is at. Or actually just move this back into place and it should be fine. changing the color of this and then of course you're gonna have to duplicate all these items here because I didn't make it part of that uh, part of the entire tire assembly okay then if you wanted to you can shift D starting to look like a monster truck. Kinda. <laughs> Alright, till next time.